Good evening, I'm Karen Johnston. Unions New South Wales today launched a campaign against a proposal that would give the state government power over the public sector's pay conditions. In Wollongong, police kick-started their own campaign against the legislation, which would cap pay increases at 2.5% per year. Local police have joined the statewide fight against the proposed legislation. As we all know, we've been ambushed at Macquarie Street with a bill that was tabled on Tuesday that seeks to strip away the independence of the New South Wales Industrial Relations Commission. The state government could implement any policy on conditions of employment for public sector employees. We believe it's a slap in the face for the police of New South Wales that have worked very, very hard. Uh, we believe there should be a fair and independent umpire, which is the IRC, to discuss any um, wage negotiations. Part of the proposal would mean a cap on pay rises of 2.5 per cent each year unless they trade off employee related cost savings. Police are concerned that leaves less incentive to join the force or even stay in it. We want to make sure that there's open and honest discussions so that we don't have people leaving the police. We want to make sure that the police is a very good employable job uh, and that uh, our members stay where they are. Fire and Rescue New South Wales showed their support. The bill would affect them and all workers in the public sector. I just want to let the public know that this is not entirely a police issue. It will affect every single public service sector worker in New South Wales. What these police officers are saying to us, what the firefighters, the nurses and the teachers are saying, is they don't want their pay and conditions determined just by the politicians. The Police Association has put together a list of measures to reduce costs in the budget. It says without reducing services. We believe that the O'Farrell government came into the position of government in this state to take care of these workers, not to stab them in the back. The association is still in the process of informing members before deciding what action is needed. Three cheers for the Police Association for kicking it off. Emily Wheeler, Win News.